I've come to see that whether people have a similar past as my own or something very different, we all respond in very similar ways to brokenness. And so my heart is to really reach out to people that are broken, that are longing to see God heal in some aspect of their lives. And you're going to see that in my music. Uh, my music has a sense of hope and mercy, but also honesty. I just want people to be honest with God. If they have questions, if they're angry, if they're frustrated, you know, bring it out because I know that I saw in my own life that when I really pressed into God and asked Him the tough questions, that He showed up. My life is overwhelming me It's hard to see the things you see Your Spirit comes to comfort me I will praise you We had a chance to go into a couple of youth detention facilities, and one of them actually was right here in Grants Pass. But the first one that we went into, uh, we were a little nervous. We'd been to adult facilities, men's and women's, but we hadn't been to a youth facility. And frankly, we're not the hippest bunch. We're <laughs> but if you calculate the average age of the four of us that are that from out of town, and you come up with 40, over 45. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> she may or may not be below or above. <laughs> Stop but, uh, telling. Uh, yeah, I'm telling. But, uh, you know, we're not rap, we're not hip hop, we're not metal. We're acoustic. And so we were a little nervous about that. And, and so, uh, but you know what? The, the gal that was leading us into that group said, you know what? These kids, these are boys ages 12 to 20. And a lot of them are away from home in detention, away from their families for the first times. And these boys' hearts are open. So come in and just do what you do, and don't worry about it. And then she said to Kate, are you going to play lullaby? Because she knew Kate's wow. out. So we went from, we don't know from the kind of music to like that they like to, are we going to sing them a lullaby? And you were talking about tattooed gang members. <laughs> In fact, that group, uh, there, were two, there were two groups of prisoners that had to be brought in separately. We did two one-hour concerts because if they brought them in together, they would fight. So, are we going to sing them a lullaby? <laughs> but uh, Kate got to thinking and the Lord got to talking to Kate the way he does. And she began to be very moved that she should sing them that lullaby and show them God's Mother heart for those boys. So she stood up, <clears throat> she stood up in front of those boys, all those tattooed teenagers, and they actually were a pretty good bunch. But uh, she stood up before them, she said, We're going to do a couple tender songs here at the end of it. And she says, I just want to stand in the place of your mothers and stand in the place of the Lord and sing. first time I got a chance to play with her, she was coming to Southern Oregon. And, um, and I wanted to play with Kate because I had heard her tracks from our worship pastor and, and she's a great songwriter, um, great concert artist, and I just jumped at the opportunity to play with her. Um, but when we, we got to the gig, it was at a, a gospel mission for men. 
And um, I thought, wow, that's exciting. You know, here's a, here's a professional artist that's, that's playing a shelter. And, um, and then I found out later from her she plays prisons and, and you know, uh, places for mental health and, and uh, homeless shelters. And so anyway, we went in there and all the guys, you know, they get excited when there's a concert uh, because they, just for the entertainment, to get away from the pain. She had a lot of songs that, that you know, convey a lot of truth. And uh, so it was interesting to see that by the end of the night, I mean, all the guys were, were just in tears and the band was in tears. And, and she asked if anybody wanted to accept Jesus and, as their Lord and Savior. And um, I, I would say 10 to 13, you know, maybe 15 hands went up. And um, this was, you know, in a large group of men that I thought were pretty much just there for the entertainment. But uh, you could see God working through Kate's music and, and Kate's ministry. And so I was just hooked after that to get a chance to play with her, to go into prisons and, and um, just all the places she goes, the money that comes to Kate White Ministries goes back into reaching people in places that can't afford for her to come and can't afford to buy her CDs. And they don't even know how to get in contact with her in the sense for a concert. Um, and so it's really neat that she comes in proactively uh, to minister to them through music. And, um, and then through that, they're making decisions to follow Christ. Partnership is really important to the success of this ministry. And now that we're a nonprofit ministry with artists and Christian testimony, it's easier than ever to partner with the Kate White Band. So how can you help? Well, first of all, spiritually, pray for us. Secondly, physically, if you can volunteer, we could use your help. And thirdly, financially, we need support to go. Brokenness affects most of us most of the time. Whether people are sitting in a pew in church or homeless sitting on a park bench or sleeping under a bridge, some of them will never darken the door of a church. They need to hear of God's hope and mercy. You can find out how to partner with me, Kate White Ministries, also a department of artists and Christian testimony at my website, katewhitemusic.com. You can help us to extend the heart of God to those that are marginalized. Thank you.